looking for really nothing as cold as that, even close to what we had as far as the cold weather the past couple of nights tonight. In fact, our temperatures, as I said, will be increasing probably tonight. We're in the 40s north, far north of the lake, but about 50 for our north shore of Lake Pontchartrain spots, the south shore in the upper 50s to around 60 near the coast. And here are southeast and east winds helping to bring in a little more moisture and humidity, so it's still pretty dry north of the lake. But I was just outside and I was like, why does it feel so cold and it's only 50 degrees? Um, but it's because our humidity is increasing, making it feel a little damper. And that will be the case tomorrow. It'll be kind of humid and we'll also eventually get another front to bring drier, cooler air Friday and the weekend. But first, we kind of have tomorrow, the big day where the front moves in with some rain. Tonight, a couple of showers outside of the Homa and Thibodeau areas along the coast. And it, you can see if this isn't the strongest system, but we're seeing some low pressure begin to form. We're going to see this front move to the north as a warm front tomorrow. It won't warm us up that much, but watch what will happen as we get into the next several hours. I've switched it to our model here. I've paused it here at 8 o'clock in the morning. There could be a couple of overnight showers. Clearly, this model doesn't have a lot. This is different from the one I showed you earlier in the newscast, but starting off cloudy, a little bit breezy, not necessarily, I think, the most beautiful morning probably for many of us. 1 p.m., we start to see some showers work in, and it could be earlier than 1 p.m., by the way. And notice it's just kind of scattered rain through the evening, 6 p.m. on toward 10 and 11 o'clock. And here's that drier air beginning to move in by early Friday. So Friday morning, 7 a.m., we're starting off with clouds, but probably going going to see some decreasing decreasing cloud cover through the day. So dry and cool conditions in the second part of Friday, I think, and then through the weekend that will continue and into next week. We just keep getting some reinforcing shots of cool air early next week. So your wake up forecast chance for a few showers, not as cold, but still kind of chilly 50s to around 60 and our winds from the east southeast. And then tomorrow during the day, we'll see the official high, maybe about 69, 70 degrees, but that means we're spending most of the day in the 60s with clouds, bit of a breeze, some showers and a few thunderstorms. So I think it'll still feel kind of coolish, maybe even more so than the temperature suggests. Here's our forecast tomorrow and notice it'll be a sort of scattered rain situation. A couple of heavy storms are possible, but some of us may only get a little bit of rain. Also, just a quick note for those of you in Hancock County, Mississippi, there's a coastal flood advisory because of these breezy east southeast winds. So minor coastal flooding, maybe a foot or two above normal at high tide, which is around midnight tonight and then again tomorrow night. So that'll just be a situation while we have these east winds tonight and tomorrow. Here's our forecast as we go forward in time tomorrow. And again, just kind of watching the temperatures in the 60s to around 70, 8 p.m. and on toward the nighttime hours. And then here we are Friday morning, starting off with our temperatures a little cooler in the 40s and 50s. 50s and highs on Friday may only be around 59 degrees. So rain totals tomorrow on the lower end, maybe about a quarter inch, half of an inch, but there could be a few spots that maybe pick up a couple of inches. The more likely area for that would be closer to the coast, it looks like. And then we're dry through the weekend. We'll have another um, hit of cool air moving in late Sunday into Monday. There might be a coastal shower on Sunday associated with that front, but mostly it should just be a quiet influx of the cooler, drier air. And it looks sunny and chilly for sure in the mornings from the weekend all the way into the middle part of next week. All right, thank you, Alexandra. Now the pandemic has changed nearly every aspect of life and it has a lot of us really leaning on Christmas traditions for a sense of normalcy.